uh, basing something on these indigenous designs, it's not only referencing the cultural heritage, mm -hmm. but it's also opening up the possibilities for science and technology to explore more sustainable pathways, more just, equitable pathways, right? So, so I've got this little uh, ink on it. You can, sure. yeah, you can go ahead and feel that, um, and you can feel it, right? It's it's not it's not just printed on there. There's this goopy uh, uh, ink that they stamp it on with, and I happen to have one of the stamps here. Um, mm. So this is um, Funtun Funafu. Yep. It's uh, two crocodiles that share the same stomach. Um, so by feeding you, I feed myself. Right. 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 Um, and uh, this one is uh, Sankofa. You can always go back to recover a forgotten tradition, right? Mm -hmm. But you notice, you'll notice that logarithmic spiral in there, the, the, the growing spiral, the, the, the curves of life. Um, and you'll see that over and over again in these Adinkra stamps. Um, the reason is because the Ghanaians who, who developed Adinkra um, were referencing things in the natural world, the, the biological world. And they caught on to the idea that nature has this special way of scaling things. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a recursive way of scaling things. It's a nonlinear way of scaling things, right? Um, so, so it's not just uh, uh, accretion um, by, you know, one cube, two cubes, three cubes, yeah. right? It's, it's the, the organic growth pattern. And you can see that really easily in something like a ram's horn. And this is actually a mm. source of one of the um, Adinkra symbols. So when you see these curves in Adinkra, um, it's often two rams butting heads. Yes. Right. Um, so so uh, when you look at those nonlinear scaling shapes, um, you're seeing something that has a lot of functionality to it. Mm -hmm. But of course, we live in architecture that's all about 90 degree angles and boxes. Yeah. Um, and so we tend not to produce shapes like this. And as a result, we don't get to explore what those uh, uh, engineering qualities are. So by... <laughs>